Welcome everyone to another episode of Lunchtime with Luke, or as some of you guys have called it, Smith Wars. <laughs> I like that one. So, in this episode, we're going to talk about the Bugman Menace. The Bugman. A lot of people see me using the term Bugman, or people who subscribe to my channel using the term Bugman, and they don't really know what this means. Because the Bugman... I mean, you hear a bunch of meme terms to, like, uh, you know, just sort of make fun of people nowadays. Call people NPCs or something like that. Bugman is a much more biting critique, if you really understand what it means. And I think uh, if you really target your life into, as, you know, towards being not a bugman, you'll be doing yourself a favor. So what is a bugman, okay? Um, a bugman is like a Redditor. <laughs> a bugman is, uh, well, let's put it this way. I, th I think the way the term was originally used is really uh, the idea is okay so you you're born and you're born with a tradition you're born with a family they have uh, they sort of have a folklore attached to them they have a religion they have habits they have you know generations and generations of people have fallen in place to generate you and now what a bug man does is a bug man doesn't think of himself as being a part of a tradition Instead, a bug man thinks of everything that he was born with as being bad, and he wants to get rid of it. He wants to deconstruct it. He wants to remove it from his life. He thinks it's irrational. And um, basically what a bug man does is, you know, it's, it's not just a rebelling against your parents kind of thing. It's, deep, it's way deeper than that. It's a, a, a mindset where you deconstruct everything about any kind of either traditional society, but more than that, your life and you abandon everything you abandon all of that stuff and become a totally rootless person and what does your culture become okay now l let that question I don't know uh, saturate in your brain or something like that what does someone become if they abandon their uh, family traditions well what happens nowadays um, a bunch of people do the stuff that's really lame okay for example uh, people identify with increasingly stupid things so people identify with the music they listen to in high school. That's really lame. People identify with diets that they do. People identify with uh, ideologies. You read the Wikipedia article for anarcho-syndicalism. You really like it. I'm an anarcho-syndicalist. That's now an aspect of my personality. That's my identity. When I introduce myself to other bugmen, I will introduce myself as that. Or religion. Remember, remember all those kids in high school who read the Wikipedia article for Buddhism and now they're Buddhists? Because the bugmen, how bugmen think about things like this, like religion. Bugmen think of that as, they think of it autistically. They're, they're high, well I would call them high functioning autists, but they're really low functioning because they don't really get the whole point of life. Uh, to them, you know, religion for example, uh, this is like, religion is a collection of factual beliefs that you believe in or not believe in. And I have autism and I can't understand anything else besides that. Like, I, I don't understand why people go to church and do all this social stuff and uh, it doesn't make sense to the bug men because they are in this mode of deconstructing all that. So again, their identity in lieu of that comes from things like dieting, music, uh, you know, your own personally chosen religion that you really have no uh, folkish connection to. You can convert to a religion of some other country in some other place that you know nothing about. You might not even know anyone who practices this religion. Or, even further, uh, sexual, uh, you know, people identify with sexual fetishes, okay? That's a new thing nowadays. So people will wear that, people, you know, the, the archetypical Tumblr user is someone who, in their bio, they're, they're bug people, so they don't have, you know, they, they don't have any traditions, they don't have any family line they're continuing. Instead, they're continuing this bug line of, you know, totally deracinated identity. I have chosen to be a furry. I have chosen to be an anarcho-syndicalist. So that is bug man thinking. Now, of course, it's not always this extreme. I'm, I'm sort of taking a little further. Uh, the fact is, all of us, even me, of course, have bug man aspects about us. And that's part of, that's part of the curse of modernity. All right, we have to deal with that. You know, we, uh, there are parts of our life that we have abandoned uh, because we think it's irrational. 
And when I say we think it's irrational, rational is often what bugmen think that they're, they're the, the kind of line of thought they think they're following. In that uh, when it comes to something traditional, they will find any kind of logical machinations they possibly can to destroy it. Now, of course, when it comes to something like anime or video games or whatever people are identifying with, um, they're not going to uh, put the same kind of logical deconstruction to that because, well, it's just not going to work out. So anyway, um, this kind of person, so the bug man, when it comes to their opinions or their worldview, they don't think of themselves, they don't, they don't think of themselves as an aspect, you know, one extra stone in a long line of people. Um, now, that's not to say that if you think of yourself this way, you have no individuality, but bug men have a pseudo individuality. They have, they are, they, their, indiv their, I guess, identity comes from something, things that don't matter rather than who they actually are. In fact, they spend most of their time destroying who they actually are, which is really lame. And their mindset is, they, they don't understand, uh, I guess, the limitations of their own autism, okay? Um, if, you're going, if you have this rational mindset where you're trying to deconstruct all the, you know, live a rational life, like, huh, well, uh, I'll just um, eat 2,000 calories a day exactly what the FDA recommends or something like that, and that's a rational life. That's what people think about this. Now, the problem with a rational bug man life is that it's based on, well, really, it's constrained by our, uh, the layers of our ignorance, so to speak. That is, our knowledge is never complete when we decide on something that's rational. In fact, if you want a more robust strategy, you rely on your traditions because the, those have worked for the longest time. So when you're out in the real life, you know, you know, take something like, uh, you know, what, what I do in my, my wage cucking job or, you know, sort of part time thing. Um, you know, I work, uh, do carpentry and stuff like that. Now you could rationally look up how to be a ca carpenter. You could even watch YouTube videos you know, about people doing it. But that's not the same thing as actually getting in there and understanding what's going on. And that's that's sort of the difference. Even if you, your, your reason is constrained by what is right in front of your face. Whereas long-term traditions, which are honed by, I guess, um, you know, by the survivability, so to speak, uh, they're not the same thing. There, there's a, even if you don't understand why they make sense, sometimes they do. Now, anyway, you can say, oh, you're just blah, blah, blah. You post your Reddit comments in the, you know, comments section. I'm not going to read them anyway. Um, but when it comes down to it, compare the bug men in your life where they are at 30 with the non-bug men in your life where they are at 30. Because when you're 16 or something, I'm sure many of you kids are still 16, um, it, seemed, it seems really cool to be a bug man atheist. It seems really cool to uh, throw everything away. It seems really cool to, you know, be an anarcho-syndicalist and all this stuff. Um, but uh, as you go on, there's a huge difference between bugmen and non-bugmen. And bugmen cannot survive without a hive. That's the fact of the matter. Uh, they, they don't exist as individual people. Um, and yeah, it's, they're really just lame. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I'll see you on the next episode of Smith Wars.